Hi, welcome back to the show where the level of inspiration is directly proportional to the level of torture. I'm your host, Neptuni, and today we're mixing the unstylish pet anteater, a butterfly that has started to be consumed by the spirit of Halloween, the greatest blue I've ever seen, it's on my own bones with sapphire stones, and a giant moth. Well, at least it's complementing the T-Rex of ants. I started by adding the necessary dose of Halloween and make the mistake of putting the Devourer of Ants as the base. Luckily though, I followed my advice from episode 2 and flipped my canvas, only to realize the eyesore and blue butterfly is much better than some beige little fetus of despair. You know, the blue really brings out my immense sadness when I saw the beige black grey lame ass quintet of victims. Before the coloring, it genuinely feels a little big quarry. Is that just me, or do you think that too? Anyways. The grayish blue embryo butterfly is a little skirt for the bigger, intensely saturated blue dress, and I think it looks great. It really brings together the blue of the dress and because of the brown color, the more darker tones as well as kind of the orange. The black thingy in the back, I don't know it's, what it's really called. Why do I keep drawing I don't even know the name of? Anyway, the black thing kind of reminds me of fire and I like it a lot. It's very pretty, so that's why I put it in the back like this, so that so that it looks like my mannequin is burning alive. Well, shouldn't it technically be burning alive because the mannequin isn't alive and it has never been alive? Doesn't matter, it's burning! Personally, I think the sleeves being the apex predator of insects is a good decision. It really brings out the fact that I hate beige, uninteresting, lame discolored butterflies. They also kind of look like shoulder protections you would wear when you go skateboarding. And I think it looks great like that. Oh, are you wondering where the moth went all of this? Simple enough. I give it the smallest, most undesirable place in the entire design. The small and interesting shoes. But it deserves it, okay? Moths are evil, they eat your clothes, and when they're done, they'll eat their eggs in your remaining clothes, and then the larva eat your clothes, become big, eat clothes again, lay eggs, and make us a little. <laughs> Look, I know not all moths are clothes eating failed abortions of evolution, but you can't tell me that they aren't at least a little scary, especially the giant ones. Especially when they sneak up on you at night when they try desperately to find a source of light. Look, if you just evolve into being awake that day, you wouldn't need a source of light other than the sun simple as that. Mikuru, if you're watching this, I challenge you to remake this dress in Gotcha Club. If it's not too difficult. If you're not Mikuru, but you're watching this video and have Gotcha Club instated. Remake it too if you want to. Have fun! Also, my goal for this series is to blow up harder than a grenade. If you can do that, I'll be forever grateful. Thank you. Okay, so I'll put a new soundtrack I made not too long ago. I don't know how to feel about it, so I'm asking you guys to tell me if I should keep it public, unless it or even delete it. Remember, it's okay to let me know that you don't like the soundtrack, don't worry, I don't really like it either, and it's also okay to say you like it. Please just say your thoughts.
okay.